said, show me the car facts. Dent on the hood in the dash crash. Smell lingering from the ashtray. Need new gears and it don't got airbags. What else? Trunk don't pop it. The wheel still rolling. The headlights broke, but the show go home. She peeked the mystique. Well, last week our gimbal broke down. Um, it did pretty weird movements actually. But the good news is. We have a new one. We have a new one. And it's right in this box. This is actually the newest gimbal by DJI. This week and next week and the week after we have a lot of video shoots so we needed to get a new one quickly. So, let's see what's inside. Get rid of the old one. The battery is a little bit smaller, which is nice because you have like a good grip. And um, there's a very good vertical mode which on the RS2 was really bad actually. Shooting on a gimbal and shooting handheld is uh, choosing between which emotion you want to uh, portray in your video. Do you want a lot more energy? And if you want something that's a little more smooth, maybe uh, for something like a wedding, that's when you choose a gimbal. So a gimbal is not needed for every shoot. It's just an extra tool to create the vision that you have in mind. Do you use a gimbal in all of your videos? No, but is it a necessary tool in filmmaking? Yes, absolutely. I prefer handheld, but for some shots, the gimbal is amazing. Yeah. Drop top beater, call me Peter. Okay. Okay. The okay. Okay. Sorry, I like love it actually. Yeah. Hell yeah. Whoa. I did 21 and a half. I am completely broken. I have uh, blisters on both my feet because. I've only run on these shoes once before and that was a 5k, so fuck yeah, that was awesome. Really enjoyed that. I can't wait to do more, but first, some rest days though. All right, bye. So last weekend I ran a half marathon, and that's actually the second time I've ever run a half marathon. I want to go back to the first one and tell you a little bit of a story about that, because it taught me a valuable lesson at the time. The first half marathon I ever did was actually a race. It's called the Half of an Egmont. And that day my parents came to watch me. So the first time I saw them was at the start of the marathon. I was still energized, I was feeling it, I was motivated. Uh, they were watching me uh, all the way. I had like a GPS tracker um, so they could see where I was in the course. And of course eventually they could see I was almost at the finish line. So they started looking out for me. I knew they were gonna be there, so I started looking out for them. And Joe was actually there as well with a camera filming me. She took uh, this video of me, I'll play it now. As you can see in the video, I was not feeling it at that moment. Uh, it was com the complete opposite of the start because yeah, I was just I was just broken after half marathon. That look that you just saw, the way I looked at the camera in that video, was the same way I looked at my parents when I crossed them. And then afterwards, my parents came up to me to hug me and congratulate me. And my mom asked me, did we do something wrong? Because you looked at us not smiling. You were like visibly uh, in pain or upset or whatever that look may have been. Um, but I was not smiling, uh, which obviously my mom had expected, that she was expecting me to still come over smiling uh, at the finish line. That made me realize, but the next time I come over a finish line, I'm going to smile. That's what I told myself, that's what I learned in that moment. And I kind of used that same mentality for life. I applied it to not only running or doing a challenge, but to anything. If times do really get hard, just keep a smile. It will keep things in a better mood, keep, t uh, keep things positive. This whole thought that I'm telling you right now actually came back on the half marathon I was doing last weekend. Right at the end, I saw someone cycling past me, um, a father with a child on the back, had like a little seat on the back. The child looked at me as they were riding past and I again had the long face. And I noticed it in that moment. So the child looked away and for some reason he looked back at me a second time and at that moment I smiled because I would remembered okay these kind of moments are moments where you don't put on that long face you smile and the rest of the run I did with like a half smile because I was still in some pain but yeah it just made me think of all the way back then when I was doing my first half marathon that just putting on a smile can make someone else feel a lot better so even when you're going through a hard uh, situation um, putting on a smile just helps for you and the people around you as well. Yeah, you never 
way to Amsterdam for a shoot. We're going to be helping our friend Zilver with his shoot. Uh, we are going to be shooting B cam and assisting him. Uh, it's going to be more of a like stylistic shoot. Everything is going to be still shots uh, with like moving in the frames. Very artsy, very artistic, very like symmetric, abstract, what you want to call it. Um, we're excited. We're excited. Let's go. I can get your speed, top max on me. Try to do the remix with no ID in that big two seat with the racks on me. You ain't never seen clean up right. I have the Sony FX3 with the 70 to 200 by Sony. Silver is going to be doing the wide shot so he can switch between the two angles um, during the shot. So that's the idea. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. How do you feel? I feel good. It was I not feel mentally exhausted. <laughs> the shoot wasn't without uh, without difficulties. It had its ups and downs. I we think. managed. We managed. You did a very good. Job. No. Thank you. She said, "Show me the Carfax." Dent on the hood and the dash crack. Smell lingering from the ashtray. Need new gears and it don't got airbags. What else?